So what's the difference between Haiti and a failed state? It's telling, right? We can't really identify them because the gangs are in charge. The government has been thrown out. And as a Florida man, I'm deeply concerned about this wave of people that we're about to have, that we are having, coming from Haiti. And it will accelerate because I've gone to Opelaka and I've spent time with the folks that are engaged in Operation Vigilant Century. And they say the number one push factor that drives these Haitians into Broward County, Palm Beach County, where they don't disperse throughout the country. They stay in southeast Florida. That, that that driving factor is the deterioration of conditions in Haiti. So what are we doing to prepare for that wave and to ensure that these people are not paroled into the United States as the administration has done with people on the southern border, but instead are repatriated back at the dock at Port-au-Prince? Uh, Congressman, we're doing a number of things to ensure that we're keeping track of the situation and we're prepared. At the moment, we have not yet seen large numbers, what we would characterize as a, as a maritime mass migration. Um, but we are, alert to that. Mass migration, we, are, we are alert to that possibility. Um, I think you're right uh, that the, the driving conditions in Haiti could very well press more people. So uh, we've recently pr approved some uh, additional assistance that we can provide to uh, the Coast Guard. I I, I think that that has now fully been approved. Uh, we'll be providing notifications if we haven't already uh, uh, to so, okay, provide let, additional let shipboard there. assistance. Because I've talked to the Coast Guard, and what they say would really support them would be more naval vessels, would be DOD support. And because I think you correctly said that there is an anticipated mass migration here, there are specific legal authorities that we can access that I would implore you to access. Specifically, George W. Bush signed executive order uh, 13276. And in that executive order, there is the ability for any president to designate an anticipated mass migration and then get gray hull naval vessels into the Straits of Florida to deter that migration and then to repatriate those people before they get to Florida.